Welcome to our first programming video for this class. During this week, where I'm going to show you a simple program that will teach some of the beginning concepts that you're going to be learning in this class. Over, we're going to use the simulator. You can see the simulator right here. We used that in our welcome video. And over on the right is a little program, the requirements for such that I've put up there. So what we want to what we're going to be teaching you is the concepts around variables, input, output, and arithmetic, or doing a calculation. So the requirements for this, for this video or this program are to create a program that gathers input from the value for the value of four numbers, adds the numbers together, and displays the total. So we're going to need to store the value of the four numbers and the total. So that means that right off the bat, we need to create some variables. And in the welcome video, we talked about the fact that variables are like little shoe boxes. We define the size of the shoe box, and then you get to put something in it so that you can pull it back out later and use it. So the type of shoebox we're going to use here are called integers. An integer is a number that doesn't have a decimal. A float is the other type of variable. A float is a number that has a decimal. So we're just going to be gathering integers. So I'm going to create four variables. And we just use the word integer to define them. And I'm going to call them num1. Num2, num3, num4. Now, by the way, if you were to create one that was for num, the Coral language doesn't like that. It wants, you can add a, have a number in your variable name, but it has to be after the first letter or the first value. So, oh, and the last one is total. Okay. Uh, like I mentioned in the welcome video, make sure that throughout your program you use these variable names like num1, num2, num3, num4, and total exactly as you declared them at the beginning. And in the Coral language, you have to declare all your variables at the very top of your program. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is let's display a a little note for our user so that we're asking them what to input. So we're going to say, we use the put keyword. What is the value for num1? Remember to output. And then we're going to say num1 equals get next input. This is the phrase that we use to get the next input off of the input queue. Okay, so I am going to do this exact same thing four times and then just come back in here and change these to two, three, three, four, four. So then we're going to calculate the total. Total equals num1 plus num2 plus num3 plus num4. Not too bad. And we're going to output, put, let's see, the total is space. And if you remember, we can so we can only put one thing out on a line at a time. Put, but we haven't told we haven't told the computer to end the line. So this one will just go right behind it. I'm not sure why I can always probably put a T there. 
All right. So here's our program. Again, we're declaring our variables. We're asking the user to input a value for number one. We get it from the input stream. We're doing it for number two. We're doing it for number three, number four. We're totaling up all of them by going out and getting what's in box number one and adding it to total and what's in box number two and adding it to total and three and four. And then we're displaying them in this way. Now, that one other thing we do is for this simulator and for Coral Language, we can't actually have the user type in their input at real time. Instead, we just put our inputs in this input queue with a space between them, like this, 10, 20, 30, 40. So this is as if the user had typed these as they were happening. Okay. So with that in mind, let's enter execution. When we enter execution, it's going to check and make sure our syntax is okay. So if you type something wrong, it's going to let you know. We're going to click step. That gets us ready. And then we're going to click run. And I've got the execution speed on slow, so it might take a minute or so to go through each one. Now it's make, doing the total, and then it's outputting. Now you're going to have to scroll down here to see the output. Oops. The total is 100. Now if you want to clean this up a little bit, let's go back. We're going to exit execution. You can put a slash n. Now notice the, the, way, the direction of the slash here. This tells the computer to put a new line at the end of each of these. Okay, And then, let's see, I'm going to turn this up to be fast. We're going to enter execution again. Step, run. There we go. You notice how it's got a, them each on their own line. So this is a simple program. Teaches you how to declare a variable and use a variable, input, output, and doing a calculation. So I, these are different. These are things you're going to be using in your first weeks learning and assignments.